Welcome to my X-Plane 12 video with the AOA Simulations T6 Texan in the Royal Canadian Air Force Harbor 2 Library. I'm at the Banff Aerodrome, added the Lake Louise scenery, and I'm going to go take a look on a beautiful summer evening around Banff. Gear up around 80 to 85 knots and into a right bank and we'll check out some traffic going down the Trans-Canada Highway. It's kind of cool that they've got the vehicles on the road and they're all moving. Headlights, taillights and street lights. It's pretty neat. I like the Texan the best. I'm not much of an airline guy and I wanted the bubble canopy. It does about 0.5 Mach at altitude. A nice low level and later in the video we'll do some aerobatics which you cannot do in a 747. Now into a gentle right hand turn down the valley towards Lake Louise with some beautiful graphics. You can see the layering and the sunset and the colors. It's a frame hit, but I'll show you my settings later in the video as well so that you can get an idea what the Mac Mini can do in X-Plane 12. It's actually pretty fantastic. AOA Simulations T6 is fun to fly. It's a little more difficult hand flying it on precision flights like an ILS, but it's challenging and it's a lot of fun. You can see the instrumentation is fairly basic, just a regular EPIS and LCD panels for the rest of it. You can use the mouse to drag around your views by double clicking on the center panel and then just moving it along and taking a look at the scenery. There's an app on the iOS app store called Look Around for $13. That'll do that for you. It uses the front face camera of your iPhone and does uh, exactly the same as Track IR. The reflections are very nice in X-Plane 12. You'll notice that even the sunset reflected off some of the rivers and the trees are reflecting. You'll get some shimmering in the lakes and that's due to water surface. Now the fun flying begins. We get to Lake Louise Ski Resort and that's modeled after the scenery. We'll go over the village of Lake Louise, over the Chateau Lake Louise and uh, do a little snowbird-esque reversal and enjoy the scenery.
scenery designer put this airstrip in here, which is actually very nice and very challenging, but the approach from the east is over clipped with some trees and the departure to the west goes right into that lake by Lake Louise. So I don't know why they didn't put it by the township. That would have been easier. Nice lazy wing over for a reversal back towards Banff. And here's my settings. Most of them are maxed out. Anti-aliasing is definitely a frame hit, but uh, it's at the modest setting. I'm using a window setup and it actually seems to speed up the sim a little bit more, oddly enough. And I get about 30 frames per second and down to about 15 on heavy graphics and twilight like we're in now. Another frame hit worth mentioning too is I turn down the vegetation and it starts drawing trees at the end of runways and really awkward places like middle of streets. So I've reduced that a little bit too which helps the frame rate. And here I just shorted up the trip a little bit. We're going back to Banff. We're going to land on the airstrip again. Bam Township is down to the right and the airstrip is on the left so I'm going to do a downwind and come back in for a landing. Speed brake is out. Throttle is not quite to idle. I like to leave the power on because if you get in the wrong side of the curve trying to get down to 100 knots it's hard to get that power back and you'll have a tough time with your approach. So I'm just going to do a visual and line it up on the downwind and a nice soft turn into the grass strip.
the AOA indicator on the dash has got the red arrow pointed up, which means I have to bring the nose up for the proper angle of attack. But as I bleed the speed off, you'll see that the donut will come up and you'll lose some speed in the flare on the approach as well. There you go. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your T6 Texan and your Lake Louise scenery and happy flying.